Both St. Louis City and County have missed a key deadline in appointing members to the Board of Freeholders. That's a powerful committee that could come up with a plan to merge the city and the county. Five on your side's Chris Davis explains what the board does and why it's important. The Board of Freeholders has a stoic sounding name, but it could end up making major decisions that impact your life. According to the Missouri Constitution, the Board of Freeholders has the ability to propose plans that could cover five different areas. They could suggest one, merging St. Louis City and County into one metro city, two, putting St. Louis City back into St. Louis County, three, moving the city limits of St. Louis, four, combining government services like a consolidated police force or judicial system or five, any other plan that impacts how the city or county operates. There have only been two successful meetings of the Board of Freeholders. The first in 1876 gave us what was called the Great Divorce, when the city and county split to begin with. The second successful meeting in the 1950s, they created MSD, a consolidated sewer district. So who's on the Board of Freeholders? St. Louis Mayor Lida Krusen and St. Louis County Executive Sam Page each get to make nine appointments to that board that are then approved by the Board of Aldermen or St. Louis County Council. Of those nine, only five can be from the same political party. Governor Parson gets one appointment who must live somewhere in Missouri that isn't in the city or the county. Once the board is assembled, they have a year to debate and come up with a plan. That plan would then be voted on by city and county voters in a special election. That's why this board is so important. 19 people will have the power to put forward a plan that could radically change anything from how you pay a parking ticket to the name of the city you live in. Chris Davis, five on your side. The Missouri Constitution states the first freeholder meeting should happen November 4th. A spokesperson for the mayor says they will continue to move forward with their nomination process but there could be legal challenges now that they've missed the deadline.